Chevrolet dealers all over America bring you direct from Hollywood, the Bob Hope Chevy Show. Extra added attraction, Don No Hit Larson, the World Series hero. And of course, the World Series hero, the perfect game pitcher, Don No Hit Larson. Imagine pitching a perfect game. That's like Georgie Jessel singing an entire song on key. I want to tell you, it's just amazing. <laughs> and of course, we have Les Brown and his band, famous in musical circles as the pool room Lawrence Welk, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> I want to tell you that Les was a born musician. Before he was 12, he knew how to spell Hugo Winterhalter. I want to, he just... Uh, <laughs> and he has a wonderful new album out right now, Music for Nervous Lovers. <laughs> it's on a long playing Milltown. I think you'll enjoy it. <laughs> That's our list. And now for the new Chevy. I just want you to see this. Now, let me remind you before I go that your friendly Chevrolet dealer stands behind every car he sells. So when you get in it, don't back up. We've been losing too many dealers. Thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like you to take a look at an historic piece of film, one of the greatest moments in American sports. The date is October the 8th, 1956. The place, the Yankee Stadium in New York City. And here it is, Don Larson throwing the last pitch for the last out in the last inning. It's a strike, and Don Larson has pitched the first perfect game in World Series history. <laughs> now, let's meet. Let's meet the first man in history to pitch a perfect game in World Series ball, the pride of the Yankees, Don Larson, right here. Greetings from the Earth people. <laughs> Is that all you, or are you standing on Yogi Berra? <laughs> How tall are you, Don? Six feet four. That'll teach you to smoke. <laughs> Don, it's really a great thrill for all of us to have you on the show. Thank you very much, Bob. And I know it's a real treat for your millions of kid fans, kids who are just learning to play baseball. Have you ever seen Little Leaguers in action? Oh, sure, Bob. We played Cleveland. <laughs> the Dodgers felt. He's still throwing strikes. <laughs> that perfect game topped off a pretty good season. What was your record this year? Nothing to rave about. 11-5 and 3. 11-5 and 3? 11 wins, 5 losses, and 3 Gillette commercials. <laughs> Actually, as sports writers know, Don had a very tough break this year. He got a sore arm in July and couldn't shave. <laughs> Don, let's start at the beginning. When did the Yankees sign you? In 1954, but they didn't really mean to. What do you mean? Well, they wanted Bob Turley. In order to get him, they had to take me. Uh, that's how I got into Paramount, you know. <laughs> no, they hired Lassie, and I was on the other end of the leash. <laughs> hey, Don, Yogi must have pitched uh, just a few pitches. He called a few pitches that you didn't like. I noticed that you shook off a couple of his signs. I wasn't shaking off any signs. I was just shaking. <laughs> Ninth thing, I had my own private earthquake. <laughs> well, that's nothing to be ashamed of. I get the shakes, too. Before every show, I have to put cotton in my pockets to keep my keys from rattling. <laughs> Why are you nervous? It's not like baseball. There's nobody knocking you out of the box. Boy, has he got a lot to learn about sponsors. <laughs> Don, I know that everybody who watched you pitch that last inning was wondering the same thing. What were you thinking of as you faced that last batter? That's not an easy question to answer. Well, let's recreate that last out. You head for the mound and tell us what you were thinking, and I'll come up to bat and place a Dale Mitchell, okay? I'll try anything, as long as it doesn't go in the record book. All right, here we go. It's the last half of the ninth. 26 men have come up to face Don Larson, and no one has reached first base. He's got the world's record, a perfect game if he can just get this last man out. Play ball. One more to go. They're putting in a pinch hitter. Probably a switch hitter. Probably their best hitter. That's a hitter? <laughs> oh, boy, what a spot. Hope, hope I don't spoil my perfect record. 120 games without falling off the bench. <laughs> wow, look at the size of him. 
He must use radar to tie his shoelaces. <laughs> I wonder what his weakness is. Girls, I wish he'd throw one. <laughs> I wonder if he's gonna try to hit and ruin my perfect game. Nobody could be that mean, that cruel, that selfish. Uh... <laughs> okay, buddy, here it is. Because you asked for it. <laughs> Strike one! <laughs> Strike two! Getting nervous. I wish he'd start pitching. <laughs> I better look at the dugout and see what the manager wants me to do. Oh, yes, yeah, same to you. <laughs> one more to go. This is the big one. Where are you going? Are you kidding? After what we did at the Dodgers, the last one of the boat is a schnook. John, before you go, I have some great news for you. I've just heard from Sports Magazine that your perfect game, for your perfect game, you've been chosen by the editors of Sport to receive their award for the top sports performance of 1956. <laughs> and on behalf of Sport Magazine, it is my privilege to present you with, uh, let me see now, I had a little something to give you. Oh yeah, a beautiful new Chevy Corvette right here. Thanks, dear. There's a sport. Well, I want you to wear this in good health, Don. <laughs> and while you're driving on the freeway, try for a no-hitter there, huh? 